image up here as well as put some text below here. Uh, this is more of a PHP example rather than styling, so um, you'll be responsible of restyling things if done incorrectly. All right, the first step is to figure out what kind of page are we accessing in here. So doing some investigation, uh, this is a little bit different uh, than a typical page because it's not in your pages. Um, you can look and uh, you can find it's definitely not there. Uh, WooCommerce does this a little bit differently. If you go into the WooCommerce settings, you can see that underneath pages, you have this shop base page and it's called shop. So that's what's creating the page and it's not an actual page in WordPress per se. That being said, we can, we can go back and at least we, we know exactly what's being put in there. So um, that tells us it's not part of our theme. Um, it's actually part of the WooCommerce template. Now, this is gonna be a little bit confusing um, because, uh, I actually had this open before, uh, because this is different than just an average WordPress theme. Uh, now WooCommerce has template files. You go into WooCommerce and you open up the template folder. You can see all these different pages in here. Now what makes this a little bit more even further confusing is you can try to edit these pages in here. It opens up like this. And now you can see that uh, this is actually your page. But if you go and edit things, like let's say I put test into the title, and I refresh this, you can see nothing happens. Now, the reason nothing happens is because it's already being overwritten by our theme. So we can actually close this plugin. And the way it's overwritten is it they make a WooCommerce folder in here called WooCommerce and they put in all their template um, files. So if you look at these, you can see that this file, and you can see the directory in here, in lucidpress slash WooCommerce slash this, is the, almost the same as this, but WooCommerce templates and this. See how they kind of match up. Now, you can see that they actually changed a couple of things in here, right here, and instead of putting, uh, the default one, which is just class page title. Now, if you went to the actual website, you can actually see this in play, you inspect element, and you can see that it's actually the page title MK fancy text, uh, just as the PHP says right here. Now, to make sure this is the right thing, we can put a little test after this, and um, we can see how it works. And you can see that this is now in there. So this is our, our test case. But we want to overwrite this again. So what we need to do is we need to, because we, we're using a child theme. Um, so what we need to do is create this folder called WooCommerce in our uh, child theme. WooCommerce. And now we're going to create a file that's going to be exactly the same as this. So it's going to be called archive product PHP. And all we have to do is copy what we already have from the Lucid theme WooCommerce file. I'm going to save it. <coughs> and now we're using this file. Now since there's no change, let's, let's put in a change that's a little bit more custom, so I'm going to put the name of the website, Smile TV. Refresh it, and you should see Shop Smile TV in here. Cool. So now we know we're in the right place, at least. Um, at least we now have an idea about what to do. So from here, you can go ahead and, and edit anything you want. Now, to put that image in that you gave me before, we can go in here and um, let's first get our image, set it up, 
it's the PayPal header, so I'm going to put this uh, right in the center of here. Uh, again, if that's uh, not correct, um, that'll, that'll be your responsibility, but um, let me let me show you at least how to put it in originally. So let's uh, first create a folder in our, uh, on our child theme called images. And I'm going to upload our image in here in PayPal header. And we're going to write out our HTML. Now, to source it, uh, we're going to want to use um, the WordPress child theme directory and then put images slash PayPal header dot JPEG. Um, so to get that directory, um, we can actually, I like to use just WordPress's uh, it's called style sheet directory. Um, you can just use their um, code reference and their codex dot WordPress dot org. And this is it. We want to get the URI. We can just copy this PHP in here. And I'm going to save this. And I'm going to refresh the page, and our image should be there. It is. And just so you can go and see how this actually looks in the uh, final HTML. You can see that our directory was was put in there, and then our where we, we put our images is right in here. Now we want to center this, so we can actually we can either do this with a, a little style like this, so we can do a, I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, so we can just to center it. I can just do a center tag. For now, and of course, there's there's other ways to get this done as well, but I think this is going to be done a little bit. Just done the fastest way for now. Also, I would like to put a max height on it because uh, when you go like this and make it responsive. It's going to be too big, probably. Oh, I guess there already is a max head on it. Um, interesting. Or max width. Cool. Um, I guess we already got that done. Now, to put a, a little um, description under here, um, this should be uh, fairly um, easy. You can actually just put in a little tag over here, this, maybe a P tag, and say... This is the slogan. And that appears right here. Now I'm assuming you're going to want this down here to look like another page. So um, you can kind of go over here and see um, how um, other, other pages do it. Uh, this isn't the best example. How about this? So you can go over here, you can inspect the element, and you can go over and decide to copy a little of things. Copy the HTML. It looks like they're using an H4 tag. So we can go into our PHP, change this to H4. Save. And that should do the trick. But it's a little bit, a little bit different, um, probably because there's no like gray thing around it. Um, you'd have to play around with it a little bit. Um, although that wasn't really part of the, this tutorial, so if you guys need help with that, hopefully um, this is really the the file that was tricky is to be able to edit this right here uh, that controls the template of everything. Uh, 
experiment it with it, play with it. A lot of times when you know where to edit things, it helps uh, kind of speed things around anyway. Cool. Talk to you soon. Bye.